This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. First of all, before we get started, first of all, hit like my like button. Come on, show your love for the singing OG, the grinding OG, the sleepy OG, all the singing, singing, singing OG. Hit that like button. Subscribe and share. We're on our way to 6,000 subscribers. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Once I hit 10, hey, that's it. I mean, still, if you like to subscribe, that's fine. But hey, this ain't my career. This wasn't my career. But it's fun. And I love all my subscribers. And when I mean love, I'm talking about I love them. Not because they give. Not because they dedicated. Not because they there every day. Because they interact. When new people come to the channel as subscribers, they interact. They say, welcome to KQKC Boxing Network. Now, let's get this work in. Oh, baby. You think Terrence is a bad businessman. You think Terrence Crawford is pretty much made up the hedge fund. Rick Glazer, you thought he was a racist. And he go to the, all, all the content creators that's black and coming down on other blacks. Wow, that's Rick Glazer. Oh man, that's his almighty dream. But now, as you read the title on the thumbnail, some men are meant to be brains. And some people are meant to be bronze. Well, Terrence Crawford is meant to be bronze. It's no brains there. At least, don't get me wrong. I'm not calling him a dummy. I'm not calling him a, a, a legally retarded. Even though a legally retarded fighter named Roly Romero, he might have a new play buddy. Let's get into this shit. Now, let me let me put some emphasis on this shit. Legendary, a legendary, <laughs> Chris Cyborg. She gonna be making her return. Yes, she gonna be making her return to boxing. And yes, it is at her. But once you look at her, you will see. <laughs> man, oh man, I mean lip su su suction or whatever they be getting. Man, sometimes you get a little bit too much of it. Ask Ivanka Trump. All right? But I'm not going to get personal. I'm just going to give you the facts. I'm about to give you the facts right now. Chris Cyborg. She will be the undercard for Terrence Crawford. When Terrence Crawford find a tune-up with somebody that we never heard of. Now. I hear some content creators. Y'all heard of uh, David Ambenesian. Okay, let's say we have. It's been so long ago. Hell, people forgot about him. It's been so long ago. He don't fight over here. Let's be honest. Now, she's going to be returning to the boxing ring on December 10th. When she battled who? Gabriel Holloway on the Terrence Crawford versus David Anthony BLK Prime. The one he can't say. The one he's supposed to be promoting. But he always promote Earl Spence. Ain't that a bitch. And we're going to get into that today too. I told you all. Oh, I told you all. I'm tired of talking about this. But the one without the brains and got the bronze Terrence Bud Crawford well now he is on boss and right now he's not looking good out the gate he is his own boss he needs somebody to school him he needs somebody to represent him he needs somebody to teach him the ins and outs 
He think being his own boss means gimme, gimme, gimme. I won't, I won't, I won't. I have, I have, I have. Smart up, young man. And for all these so-called boxers, Hall of Famers, you don't have to be a boxer or ever step in the ring to know boxing. I do know that. The great legendary, the great legendary trainer, Virgil Hunter. Oh, man. We don't even talk about Devin Haney. We ain't gonna talk about his dad. Oh, baby. Now, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cyber versus Holloway. It's only a four round bout in the lightweight division. Can't anybody say Triller? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> man, 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 man. My fault. Triller on Fight TV. Triller on uh, 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 all the other so called boxing mixed with rock stars and MMA and all mixed up in one. This is not a true boxing match, people. You don't have a great co main event. You have a three up and three out of the top name fighters. I get it. You're a startup company. I get it. But you're starting up in a bad way. Well, who are you? Okay, you. What you know about this business of the sport of boxing? People always kill me with that shit. It's the business of boxing. No, it's not the business of boxing. The boxer still can control what's going on. Or just don't fight. Do you feel me? So y'all stop blaming the business of boxing. Crawford could have made that fight if he wanted to. But he was greedy. He was getting to know BLK Prime. All that was cap. I'm sorry. I mean, everybody. Everybody involved in BLK Prime. It was cap. Everybody got their lives together. And they sent Dodo out there to pretty much try to break the ice. Well, I'm sorry. It's too late. Bud. Cyborg. She's the ultimate fighting. Only Grand Slam champion. Comes from a world class mixed martial art background. She is from Brazil. Cyborg makes her return to boxing ring to continue her quest to establish herself as the greatest female fighter in any combat sports. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It might be a little bit too late. But, in and all, I wish her luck. In her boxing debut early this year, Cyborg defeated Simone Silva by a convincing unanimous decision. Throwing clean right hands pressing forward and unloading punches with Silver against the ropes. This is a great opportunity for me, she says, to make a splash in the boxing world, especially on a card with Terrence Crawford, the best boxer in the world. Well, of course you're going to say that. Of course you're not going to just be honest and say, well, he ain't really fought nobody. He fought a porter on his way out. His daddy said he wasn't in shape. He fought a cow brook that been broken up for two pieces. He ain't fought, you know, no relative person at 147. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff Horn. That was with Tom Rank. Right. All right. And who else he got? Oh, I'm sorry. His signature fight was who? Jumped up two weight classes. A Gamboa. <laughs> wow. And then poor, poor Earl. He doing more, more, more heavy lifting. He fighting another, a mandatory. I mean, they lining up to fight this three belt holder. They lining up to fight this Dallas sensation. And let me add also, he sells. He sells. Think about if he put his, think about it. If he put his on Groupon, 
Do you know he probably have two million paid per view buys or tickets? Think about it. Put it on. Put it on Groupon. Uh, Groupon. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I had to. I had to do a job. I had to do it. All right. I, I had to do it. Whoa, oh boy. Oh uh, boy. In the rate you go on change, you should have stayed your ass at top rank or just took your ass and walked out the door. Because you're really making an ass out of yourself every time you talk. I know 10 people that were fans of yours. Now they are gone. Because you got caught in so many lies. But let's keep it going. It's about you and your undercard. All right? Now, of course, Chris Cyborg. See, boxing has always been a big part of my training. And I, and I quote, and I will feel I can compete at the highest level. Ooh. I'm expecting Holloway to be in great shape. And I know she's coming to win. That said, I'm taking this fight very seriously. All right. Be careful when you get in that last and final round. The fourth. <laughs> anyway, I feel confident. And I can't wait to show class or showcase my boxing skills to the world. Ooh, we can't wait. Ooh, we can't wait. Holloway also comes from an MMA background. Recently, fighting in the Bellator system, she joins the undercard of Crawford versus Abyss Neeson. Now, of course, to establish her place in boxing, taking on a universal woman's fighting icon and cyborg. Looking forward to testing my skills against a legend in combat sports. I'm coming fully prepared. Conditioning is on point. We are going to steal the show. We are the real main event, said Holloway. Now, once again, people, hit the like button also. This is what I want you to do for me. I want you to comment down there. Tell me what you think. I want to hear from you all today. I want you to start commenting down there. Let me know. Is this a good video, a bad video, or an okay video? All right? I mean, no, no, no kiss ass or nothing like that. I need to know the truth. Because this dude has been fucking up ever since his so-called Instagram, IG, tell all debacle. You remember the one he didn't know how to say his, you know, her name? The, uh, B.A.K. Prime. He didn't know how to say the name. Some people are meant to have what? Brains. Some meant to have what? Bronze. Now you tell me, where does he fit in at? See, Terrence Crawford got misled. He saw how easy it was for Al, Bob, Eddie, and sometimes Oscar if he's sober. See, it takes a lot in going into promoting a fight and being a promoter and being your own man. It takes a lot. You haven't had no practice. You 35 fucking years old, son. And now all of a sudden, you want to learn about the business side of boxing. What's wrong? The one that you said had a good heart? Bob Aaron? He didn't teach you? Oh, I'm sorry. You fucked up so much money of his. He could have had a house over there off of, uh, 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 what's the name of that street? Right by Bel Air? Oh, Beverly Hills. That's right. Please. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. That's right, y'all. Now you know what it is. Y'all know what it is. He didn't never want him to fight Earl Spence. Now Earl Spence is caught in a trick bag. If you damn if you do, damn if you don't. Because Terrence cannot be trusted. If he take the fight with Keith Thurman, then who says and who guarantees that Terrence Crawford will be next? Who? Who? Anybody? Do your feet fit on the branches? Who? Who, who, who? Terrence Crawford never have been able to be trusted. 
Andre Ward hasn't either. Andre Ward sits around. He sit right in the middle of the fence like a bird and find out which way he gonna go. Go get that worm or get that bread. He don't know. So, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my people, don't blame Blue. Oh, no. And don't blame Earl Spence. Oh, no. But I tell you what, you can blame, like Tiafino Lopez said, like Roly Romero says, like Ronnie Shields said, like everybody else says. Blame Terrence Bud motherfucking Crawford. I am KQKC Boston Network. If you like the content of this video, <laughs> then go right ahead. Go right ahead and subscribe. Like. Share. I'm the singing OG. KQKC. And I will be on today at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about what Sean Porter said. We're going to talk about old Canelo and Morel. Oh, baby. And I want to thank all my subscribers for hanging in there with me yesterday. See, I told you. I run a tight ship. When you come over to KQKC, everybody is welcome. Bud lovers, Spence lovers, and you know myself, our Charlo lovers. We all welcome right here at KQKC. We all have respectful dialogue. And that's why we have great, great subscribers like Xena 360, Ricky E245. G5 Gabe. You feel me? You follow me? Flawless mentality. She wallow 77. Sweet T. Tay Tay. Queen Queen. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. We got the ladies and the gentlemen, baby. Yes, sir. We are into motherfucking national. All right? I am KQKC Boston Network. If you haven't subscribed, you might as well go ahead and subscribe now. And like I said, join the channel. Keep in mind, we got Regis Pro Grade this weekend. So, and therefore, oh, therefore, it will be on Fight TV. Like I said, the last past year, I paid for all my pay per view. Why? Because I call fights. But this time going to be a little bit different coming 2023. You're going to have to donate, baby. Yes, sir. You don't have to. But in order to pay for these fights, hell, I'm on a fixed income. And I cannot do it every single goddamn time. So we will either pick and choose or support the network. I would like to support it anyway. Because I have a lot of things I need to do to make you all proud to be a KQKC member. So with that, oh baby with that. Oh baby with that. I am out of here. And once again, shout out to the almighty L-D-B-C, the Lions Den Boxing Community. If you didn't know, now you know. And shout out to Black Medium's Row. And with that, I am out of here and I'm on. Oh, 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 on to the next one, baby. <laughs> wow.